Hello everyone, uh, Alan Chase here from BackupOnlineBlog.com with a new video, Why Live Drive is Better Than Carbonite. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, evaluate a number of the different online providers before uh, choosing one for myself. Um, Carbonite was one of the ones I looked at, but I chose Live Drive uh, for a number of reasons that I want to go over with you in this video. Uh, if you're not doing any sort of online backup, I encourage you to do so uh, as quickly as possible. It's really the best way to protect your computer. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you why Live Drive is a better choice than Carbonite. So I want to begin by showing you how they are similar. Uh, first and foremost, both back up uh, over the internet to a cloud, and um, both offer encryption, which is good, that protects your uh, data, and both support Windows and Mac, and both have web and client-based restores. What this means is uh, if you're in front of your computer, you've probably downloaded the client software from either one of these uh, solution providers, and uh, then you do the restore through the client software. But if you're somewhere away from your computer, you can also open a browser, uh, point it to their website, log into your account, and do a restore of files that way as well, uh, which is good. So both offer uh, unlimited space uh, once you're a customer, and both will store uh, pretty much any file type. So the two are, are pretty similar in that way, but there are differences between the two that I think make Live Drive the superior offering. So first and foremost is Carbonite charges per computer, whereas Live Drive is a flat fee for as many computers as you have. So if you're like me, I have a few computers, and and uh, most uh, households I think now have multiple computers. You know, mom, dad, the kids. So uh, it's not unusual to have more than one in the house. Carbonite right now is around four dollars and sixty cents or so per month. Uh, Live Drive is about $6.95 per month. Uh, however, if you visit my website, you'll find I, I usually have coupons and discounts. And uh, that pricing is uh, circa August 2010, which is about when I'm making this video. Um, but uh, if you have multiple computers, Carbonite's going to end up being a lot more expensive than Live Drive. So that's an important uh, point. Secondly is Carbonite, they do a funny thing with versioning. Now, versioning means you know, if I have a Word document and I'm writing some new files, I'm writing a new file and I'm writing uh, data. You know, as I'm as I'm writing this document, I'm saving it. I'm saving. I'm saving. Every time I save it, the backup software will go and put a copy of it up into the cloud. They'll store a version for me. But with Carbonite, uh, they only store one version per day, the most recent version per day for the first 30 days, and then after 30 days, from 30 to 90 days, just the most recent one per week. And then after 90 days, they get rid of all the old versions essentially, and all you're left with is the most recent version. Uh, Live Drive will retain up to 30 prior versions. And the reason this is important is because if the current version I have stored, maybe uh, it's corrupt, it won't open, uh, maybe uh, it has some content in it, that, or there's some content in an older version that I would love to get back, uh, maybe it's in the wrong format now, maybe it's got a virus, uh, it would really be nice to know that I could go back four, five, six versions, get that file back, Whereas with Carbonite, you know, once the 30 days goes by, you have very limited versioning. And once 90 days goes by, you have one version. So Live Drive is doing the right thing by offering uh, people the ability to store the last 30 versions. I can't really see me ever needing more than that. Uh, 30 versions is a lot. But one of the real principles of backup is versioning, knowing that you can always go back in time and in version to get the prior content. So uh, Carbonite really lacking in this area, and I think it's a really important feature they don't have. Carbonite also does uh, some other strange things, like they require people to sign up for at least a year, whereas Live Drive is monthly. Um, now you can go uh, annual or, or even uh, sign up for two years or three years with either one of the services, and they do offer a deeper discount, but I think most people, even after they've completed a trial, uh, usually like the freedom to go month to month to make sure they really like the service before making a longer term commitment. Um, another strange feature about Carbonite is that by default they skip video and they skip any files larger than 4 gigs. So probably not a lot of files out there larger than 4 gigabytes. That's a pretty good size, although you might have some. Longer videos certainly would, uh, certainly is one, one file that comes to mind. But the fact that it skips video by default I think is just terrible. Uh, we all have videos on our computers and I guarantee you there are Carbonite customers today who are backing up folders that they th that have videos in them and they think Carbonite's backing them up and Carbonite's not backing them up. You have to expressly go in in preferences and tell Carbonite back up video files too. 
Also, by the way, if you're using the two gigabytes of free storage Carbonite offers, it's not going to back up video and it will not back up music files either. So that's important to, to bear in mind. Live Drive, no such restriction. You tell it back up the folder, it's going to back up the files in the folder. Uh, it doesn't do anything like skip video or, or focus on file sizes. Another thing Carbonite does that I don't like is once you are storing 200 gigabytes worth of backups in their system, they reduce the amount of bandwidth available to you. And maybe their thought process is you won't have as much to back up, but um, uh, you know, if I come back from uh, a trip and I have video and I have pictures and I have other things that are going to take a while to back up, I don't see why I should be penalized for the fact that I already have 200 gigs of backups in the system. Uh, 200 gigabytes nowadays is really not that much. So uh, Live Drive, they don't have any kind of bandwidth throttling. They don't restrict me or, or reduce the amount of bandwidth uh, to me just because I'm storing uh, a certain amount of data in their system. Um, so having full access to the system and not having the performance slow down on purpose, I think, is the right way to do it. I think Live Drive is, is doing the right thing. I think Carbonite's doing a terrible thing, frankly. Uh, Carbonite does another funny thing, which is they choose the order by file type. So they choose which files, when I run a backup, get backed up first, and they always choose the small file types first. So again, if you have videos or pictures or music, but then you have some Word documents or some Excel spreadsheets, odds are the video and the pictures are going to be backed up last. Uh, Live Drive on the hand lets you choose the order. And why this is important is because if I'm taking my computer and I'm connecting it and I'm going to go run a backup, and I know that I have some precious information, but maybe they're videos or some large files that I want backed up first because I don't need to use my computer right now. Uh, I like to have the freedom to know that I control that, not the vendor. It's another thing Carbonite does that I don't like. Um, Carbonite is also not entirely cross-platform. So while they do offer Windows and Mac, something you back up with a Mac, you cannot restore to Windows and vice versa. So Live Drive, you can. So if I have an Acrobat file, let's say a PDF, and I've backed it up uh, on a Mac, and I want to restore it to a Windows system, the file itself is cross-platform, but Carbonite won't let you do that. Uh, Live Drive does. So I don't think that's a big deal usually, but there's no seems to me there's no reason why this kind of restriction should be there. So to sum up, reasons why uh, I really like Live Drive's offering is, number one, uh, the flat fee, right? I want one flat fee, back up all my computers. Number two, I like the fact that they offer a monthly fee. I can go and get a one year or two year, but I don't have to. Uh, Carbonite forces you to. Uh, third, versioning. This is critical. I mean, one of the real tenets of backup is being able to maintain multiple versions uh, as time has gone by. Live Drive, you get 30 versions, but with Carbonite, really, after 90 days, all you have is the most recent copy. And then fourth, bandwidth throttling. Uh, why penalize longer-term customers uh, by reducing the amount of uh, performance available to them? I, I don't get it. So uh, if you uh, get a chance, visit my website if you want to learn more about LiveDrive and more about uh, how to protect your computer. BackupOnlineBlog.com. Uh, you'll uh, find all kinds of great information there. If you have questions, you can drop me a line. There's a box there. You can put your name and email in and uh, write me a question. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, so I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.